What we're hoping to do is, is exercise the various planning systems that we have to respond to emergency, uh, you know, unplanned domestic emergencies. Remember after September 11th, uh, we basically respond to new anticipating, planning for, uh, but we used uh, planning systems that we had uh, off the shelf to respond down there. Also, significantly, think about Katrina. Uh, Katrina, uh, you know, pop-up hurricane that affected the people of uh, New Orleans and Louisiana. Quickly, the local responders were overwhelmed, and they had to go pushing up the chain of command to get support. The National Guard is positioned to get support. We can bring military assets not just from New York State, but from neighboring states using what's called the Emergency Mutual Assistance Compact. We also have access to the uh, FEMA folks at the federal level. And what we want to do is we want to show up if, if we have a real uh, emergency. That's not the time to start passing out business cards to all the local emergency responders. We need to be. We need to know who these people are beforehand. They need to know who we are. So we have uh, we can actually respond in almost a routine manner as opposed to. Uh, so talk about what we're actually seeing here. You got a very elaborate post earthquake scene yeah. scenario here. What are we seeing here yeah. among the rubble? What, what, yeah. what are you guys going through? Now is a pile of rubble that represents a building that collapsed. And inside that pile of rubble, we have tunnels that have been placed. And we have uh, injured uh, soldiers who are basically acting as uh, participants in the exercise. We're going to send in search and extraction teams to pull them out. Some of these soldiers have been some of these uh, wounded individuals have been contaminated. And we're going to send them through our decon site to uh, to make them safe again. We've got civilian casualties here. How do you go about searching for folks? It looks good. Even this looks very confusing. We, we are part, as you can look around here, we have a number of civilian agencies. We're partnering with local emergency response responders who have search and extraction We have our own search and extraction teams. So we're using this as an exercise to get multiple uh, agencies involved with search and extraction. What's, what's priority when you first come upon a scene like this? What, how you approach the, the, the first priority is basically secure the site, make sure that everybody who is visibly injured at that point in time is getting paid. And then once you're sure that it's safe to go in, you start moving into the uh, uh, the incident site to uh, start pulling out the, uh, the injured folks. So this is going to be going on for several days? This is going to be going on for several days. It's almost going to be like a Groundhog Day. We're going to reset the exercise tomorrow. Today what you see are the, the New York State uh, decon decontamination team, we call it the SURF-P team. We also have the, the Vermont CST civil support team here. Tomorrow we're going to bring in the Massachusetts decon team and their civil support team. I use the term civil support team. That's a group of 20 individuals who have the uh, special spacesuits that will go into a site and make sure it's safe of any toxic chemicals or radiation. Hey, General, identify yourself for folks. My, my name is Brigadier General Mike Sweezy. I am officially, for this exercise, the Joint Task Force 6 Commander for Western New York. Uh, I live in Latham, New York. I'm a, a traditional guardsman, and by that I mean uh, Monday through Friday I work at a civilian job, and on the weekends I, I, I do my uh, guard work. General, thank Thanks. you so much. Thank we you very much. It. Thank you.